How's he doing, Pops? Is he doing okay? I'm waiting to see how he's going to connect the cylinder. <laughs> but so far, is he doing it right, do you think? Uh, it looks really good. Okay, all right. You, you get a thumbs up. Yeah. Oh, man, it's a busy time today. Everybody's here trying to watch Jim work. I mean, I am the man. I am the police. You're under pressure today, man. I aim the please here. Well, I want to see his connection on the ceiling. Oh, yep. He'll, he'll be doing that pretty soon. Yeah. How does he get the stipple look on it? Yeah, the ceiling? There's what? There's texture up there. Okay. Yeah, all of the areas that I didn't do, there's texture. That's not smooth up there. All the yellow areas already has a skip trail up there. Remember? I just patched the ceiling. That's all going to go away and blend in because we washed it down. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna look nice, I think. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, indeed. So we're coming along here. Okay. We're coming along with the rolling yeah. here. Yeah. Action. Yep. I can see how if everything's all prepped and everything, you're ready to go. Goes it goes way quicker than trying to mess with, oh, I'll cut around this and cut around that. Me? You know, and I see, too, that you use regular masking tape this time and not the blue tape. Yeah, I'm taking off the same day, so it's going to be all right. So you can use that. because If you were to have this on for three or four days, you'd be using the blue, right? Yeah, I'd be using the blue quick release. But because it's a one-day deal you can take it off even if you had it up here overnight that would be okay wouldn't yeah, it yeah, overnight. for one day or so yeah, one day I had it on the next year for a couple days yeah. and it came off yeah. nice. and you're using uh, you ended up using uh, inch and a half inch and a half is that what you generally use yeah yeah okay inch and a half regular crate paper or crate masking yeah indeed yeah so Use the best products you can get a hold of and your job comes out mm -hmm. the best, you know. I mean, you might as well use good quality material if you're going to do a job uh, to get it all nice and... Yeah, it doesn't really cost that much more at this point, no. right? Exactly. Anyway... That's still amazing. Three years for one lambskin roller. I didn't know they could last that long. Yeah, yeah. They, you know, they, they... So see, in a sense, they're way cheaper than using the use use three times and throw away rollers. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It, uh... Now, it only lasts that long because you clean it out properly. Yeah, and they, they clean out quickly. The paint releases out of them really quick so you can wash them up fairly quick. You just gotta, you know, make sure they don't get dried up on you and mm -hmm. wash them right away and keep your stuff clean and have a good clean surface and good clean tools and it all adds cheap. in, adds in. The cheap is good uh, compared to a chamois. Yeah. <laughs> you, um, yeah. Drive your car. That's right. Out of an animal. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, exactly. You're finding out now that a, that a chamois is really an animal. <clears throat> uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Which it is. Yes, we've determined that, haven't we, Pop? Yes, we have. <laughs> we made a whole video on that. Is chamois is a chamois a real animal, Jim? Yes. yes. <laughs> what is a chamois? And it is. It's a skin. Yes, it's a skin. And it works perfect. It's a skin, and it gets when they dry out, they get hard. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and it's like, what is this? It does. Yeah. Now you're doing it right up against the window because you put masking tape down there first yeah, and that's exactly, good to go. Exactly. You gonna paint it just like that on the finish too or are you gonna uh, try to cut it in? I'll probably paint it like this on the finish and then take this off. I might have to run a bead of caulking just yeah. to finish it off. Yeah. Got a nice smooth uh, line here. But so you'll caulk it last. last. A nice yeah, tight yeah. line. Yeah, real thin, tight. And, uh, You'll be able to see how much you need to do when the tape comes off and it's all cleaned up. 
Yeah. And it would be, you just strip the tape off once, boom, and then you cock it and after the finished paint goes on, and then you're ready to go for the, uh, just to have a finished bead. Yeah. And, and that's the key, having a nice, tight, finished edge. You get it too big, you just messed up your paint job, didn't you? Yeah. So, just got to be aware of how much needs to go on and how clean of a line. Make sure that all the old drywall mud is off the windows casings before you even start to tape and everything. Wipe them all down. Right. And make sure you have a clean surface to start with. Right. You like this one, didn't you? I got this nicely yeah, clean yeah. for we, you. We have a, a nice, finished, clean prep. Prep work is all... Because if you, if you came in here and that wasn't done yet, you'd almost feel like, hey, I got to do that first before I even can paint. And you're here to paint today, not start cleaning exactly. stuff off around the, the windows that somebody else could have done. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so we're, we're looking good here. Yeah, we're, we're the I next my, step. Next like it. How we doing over here? How we doing? Good. Okay. That's there, there, here. Mm -hmm. Are you moving right along? Yeah, we. I see that stuff above the door over there is almost dry. It probably is. To where that could is. start being painted, but he's got he's got other stuff to do. It's just a matter of once you get all your primer done or whatever on your first coat. Yeah. We're calling this the first coat here, the PVA oh. primer over raw sheetrock mud and raw sheetrock panels. Mm -hmm. You know, you put that first and then when you get ready to start your finished paint, start right on this wall here and then work backwards just like you did installing the primer mm -hmm. and you'll be good to go. Indeed. 